Welcome back to Color Class. I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how shopping and the names that you get when out shopping are so arbitrary. They just do not make sense in our big world of color. Also, they're not precise. No. I, I Sarah and myself <laughs> here at Color Class, we don't use shade names mm -hmm. because a shade name can be a vast variety of a color. It's not precise enough for what we do. We're up to 20 palettes now. And so how can you tell somebody that this is their right pumpkin or moss or mm -hmm. cloud um, and then have them know precisely what that is? Right. You can't. I feel like now in today's age and shopping online, people can kind of name it whatever sounds, you know, delicious or cute. Right. Or and, w what makes the SEO work. If right. somebody is, sh is asking for mocha mousse, any shade of brown, they'll name mocha mousse. Instantly it became any shade of brown was now mocha mousse. So we have this issue when out shopping that a moss might be named moss, but it could be a light green all the way to a deep green, a warm green to a cool green could be moss. Right. So there's a huge range. Right. I mean, um, take, for example, banana. Mm. Yes. Is a, you know, if you say, I, I'm looking for a sweater, you know, they call it banana. And people will say, oh, the outside of a banana. Mm -hmm. But if you look online for things that are banana, you will find multiple different shades. And it will either be the skin or the flesh of the fruit, <laughs> it, it, it's all over the place. Is it a green banana? Is it a yellow banana? Uh, the You know the green, loose powder? Yeah. The loose powder right. that's called banana? So there's like the light banana. It, it's all <laughs> over the place. Right. Um, what's another one? Turquoise. Everybody loves turquoise, right? And you say, oh, I know what turquoise is. You know, just go in and ask for turquoise. But do you? Really? Mm -hmm. Because there, if you look online, they're all different shades of turquoise. And the ones that I found in preparation of this video, none of them matched a hunk of turquoise. <laughs> so it's not like you can say, well, I have a turquoise necklace and I want to match my necklace. Well, they have green turquoise, they have blue turquoise, mm -hmm. they have Chinese turquoise. It's all different. Shade names do not work. Right. So. What do we do? How do we get accuracy? Mm. We use hexadecimal codes. Yes. What, you say, is a hexadecimal code? It was developed by web de developers in order to have a uniform system of color. It's six digits. First two represent red, middle two represent green, and the last two represent blue. Mm -hmm. and when you put them together, it makes an accurate representation of a particular color. So accurate. In fact, did you know, these are some fun facts, that right now the developers of the hexadecimal codes have 147 shades identified with names. Ooh. So that's good. Yeah. You know, you've got 147, yay. But did you know that there are 16,777,216 shades that are identified with hexadecimal codes. Oh, we're so close to naming all of them. So, so close. we got 147 that have names, and those will be accurate because <laughs> they'll be uniform across the entire web. But 16,777,000 that don't. Mm -hmm. But the good news is, you have 616,777,000 shades that are identified and accurate, mm -hmm. as opposed to saying raspberry. There's a raspberry lip gloss. There's a bunch of different raspberries all over the internet. And you know what? None of them match. Absolutely not. Now, I hear you out there. You're saying, okay, hexadecimal codes. How do I figure out the hexadecimal codes? How to where do I find this mess? Now, 
I am over on the color class website and links will be in the description down below to get here. And what I did was I uploaded a file with the six dominant characteristics. This is our thumbnail for YouTube. That's why it says six thumb. But um, using this thumbnail, we have all of our different six dominant characteristics with a bunch of different shades on them. Now I thought this would be a really great example because I already have the hexadecimal codes. And this webpage might look a little bit different when you're on this, but as you can see, all you do is upload your picture and click on a color. I'm gonna go down here and click on this red. Your hexadecimal code will pop up right here so you can view how much red, how much green, how much blue is in each color. And then the traits down here will come up. Now, we're still testing this, but as you can see, a mid-tone, soft, warm shade. That's exactly what this is. So there are some really great tools here on Color Class. You can also shop our other color tools up here. We have our Harmony Checker and our Palette Preview. I would highly recommend checking those out. So if you're interested in any of the link, feel free to check down in the description below. Now don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, and share because it helps grow this YouTube channel and that helps us create more tools for you guys. So that one little thing, just click that subscribe button, really does help us out a lot. Lastly, I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. This has been another color class and we'll see you in our next video.